Hi, I'm Bill Marshall, the lead engineer at Cloudhouse, one of the data centers in Docklands campus for Digital Realty. This cooling innovation provides our customers with a solution that is 20 times more energy efficient than traditional cooling systems, enabling them to significantly reduce the carbon footprint of their data centers. To benefit our customers elsewhere, we've rolled out some of our approaches from the Docklands site more widely. For example, following the success of Cloudhouse's water cooling system, we've launched a similar free cooling concept at our data center in Port of Marseille. Every year, this is helping save up to 18,400 megawatt hours whilst mitigating the emissions of 795 tonnes of CO2, the equivalent of 5,560 trees planted each year. This system works by taking water from the local inner dock, which is used to cool the process water in our data centre and meet the necessary conditions for the IT load air conditioning system. A combination of sensors and controls ensure that only the required volume of water is drawn, reducing our energy consumption and minimising our waste. This water is drawn into the building through a primary set of pipes, with flow rates being dictated by inverter-driven pumps that respond to the building cooling demand. This water is passed through a plate heat exchanger, which acts as a cooling medium for the building's chilled water loop, transported through Cloudhouse's airflow system, through the floor vents into the cold owl containment, which in turn cools the racks. Importantly, the solution is circular, so the same volume of water that we take from the dock to cool our Cloudhouse data centre is returned back to where it came from. Recently, one of our Cloudhouse customers said that the dock water cooling system has aided them in driving to a net carbon zero emission. This particular customer is committed to helping reduce climate change and global warming by assessing the carbon emissions that are likely to be a high factor within their supply chain. And by housing themselves in our data centre, we support them on this journey. Digital Realty's dock water cooling system has also been of interest to those outside of the data centre space. In February 2022, Lord Callanan, a Parliamentary Undersecretary for State for the Department of Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, visited Cloudhouse after he had heard of our sustainability credentials and wanted to gather a better understanding of the environmental impacts this system mitigates. For Digital Realty, initiatives like these support our global efforts to reduce emissions across our entire portfolio. Cloudhouse also helps deliver against our commitment to reduce Scope 1 and Scope 2 emissions by 68% by 2030, a commitment that aligns with the science-based target initiatives. We're proud that our efforts also align with the Climate Neutral Data Centre Pack's goal of making data centres climate neutral by 2030. A few years ago, we implemented EcoSense's software-driven data center energy optimization services for both us and our customers in the UK. After a successful trial in London in 2020, this implementation led to a significant 20% reduction in cooling system energy usage, contributing directly to our broader carbon reduction targets. 